Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend. And let me know down below if you um, did anything fun. We actually got to spend time with my mom and dad and took my dad to the casino for Father's Day. So let me know if you guys did anything fun. And unfortunately, none of us came out winners at the casino. So that was kind of a bummer. I think my mom maybe ended up a little bit of a little bit ahead so i guess there was one winner in the bunch and then we went out for supper and we met up with my aunt and uncle and my grandma so we got to eat supper with family so it was a good um weekend and we get to start off with our <clears throat> monthly challenges here and this one is from d plans and budgets and in this one i think i'm going to put $15 and my throat is going to sound my voice is going to sound a little froggy because it is early in the morning <clears throat> so we're putting 10 15 and let's go ahead and get out an orange and I will color in three boxes okay and then next Monday we'll just have $10 to stuff in this one and so far in here we have let's add it up 20, 30, 40, 55, 60, 60 dollars. Okay. And next we have this one from Hands and Bands and we put $10 a Monday or each week away. So I went ahead and put the $10 behind here and we get a color in a sun. I was kind of thinking about switching things up, switching some of these challenges up and maybe doing kind of a, a Monday mini with my health and more in 24. Let me know what you guys think of that. Um, doing maybe some minis along with this. I've been wanting to do it because I have so many mini challenges to use up, but I just, I don't have time to do another uh, video during the week. But in here, I did put some prop money if I hit $100. So we have one, two, 20, 30. Okay, this cute challenge is from Save with Judy. We put $5 a week in here, and then we get a color in another sun. So let's get that colored in. All right, and then we have prop money in here. So this is in my high yield savings, 2045, 145. Okay, next on the no spend, this tracker is from Hey K Budgets. We had six days of no spend, so I'm adding in $6. Let's total up the amount in here. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so far in the no spend, and I'm gonna set that aside. On my tracker, I'm not really for sure if I'm gonna continue with these trackers because they're not necessarily motivating me. Um, you know, I still don't get my water in. I'm just, I am not, I just don't feel thirsty. I don't, so I don't know if I am getting, you know, if 64 ounces is too much, but I don't think, you know, I don't think 64 ounces is too much for me to get, but I, I know I'm not getting quite enough. Um, but like I said, I don't feel like I'm dehydrated or anything. And then with my sugar, I have been, um, using, if I have kind of a sweet tooth, I'll just have a couple Jolly Ranchers and then that kind of satisfies, you know, I don't ever go overboard. So I feel like a little bit of sugar isn't hurting me, but then I don't mark it off when I have the Jolly Ranchers. But yet, you know, my whole point of marking off the no sugar is because I was kind of binging on sugar. If I would start eating it, I would eat a lot of it. And I am currently, for maybe some of you that are new, um, I am on ZepBound, which is a weekly injection, um, which is prescribed by my doctor. And that does really help me crave my um, appetite too. Um, I did have where my dose was up, up this month and I did struggle a little bit with it. I feel like it didn't... Um, curve my appetite as much and I did uh, suffer a little bit with some nauseous feelings and things like that um, where and sometimes certain foods kind of uh, bug me one thing I have found a lot of people say is 
alcohol, like they don't crave alcohol at all, or they really can't drink much alcohol, otherwise they will feel ill. And I never really craved alcohol anyway, like I very rarely drink anyway, but I notice like on golf lake, I would like to have a couple beers. And at the most, I've been like maybe able to get like two and a half down. And then that's like it. Like this weekend, I tried to have um, just one drink at the casino and I couldn't even drink half of it. And it was like, I don't know, I just started getting a stomach ache. So that's another, um, you know, thing I follow this group on Facebook. And um, a lot of them have been saying that they don't crave alcohol anymore. And they really don't hardly drink anymore, which is a good thing too. Um, but I get to do $21. So I don't know, I need to think about this tracker and see if I want to continue doing it. Maybe I'll go a month without doing it. And um, see if it was benefiting me at all. Sometimes it takes you stopping something to see if it really was benefiting you or not. Um, 20, 30, 5, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I don't know why some of these bills are messed up. Let's fix that. All right. Oh, and again, I set that to the side because I have it on my desk. And then I did not think I was doing well because my appetite was not being as suppressed as it usually is. And so I thought I was not going to have a weight loss and I don't, I'm not a type of person that gets on the scale every day. Um, I try to only just get on once a week, um, because our weight fluctuates so much that I just don't see the point necessarily of getting on it every day. So I just stick to one, um, time a week. And even though I did not think I was doing well on it, I actually did have a loss and I actually had a really good loss. Um, and it might be because last week I went up like a pound because um, I ate, a, ate out a little bit more that week um, than normal. So I think maybe some of that was water weight and then all of a sudden I had a drop of water weight. So I am down to, um, let me look at, I always forget what the point is. It was 179.2 two so i'm actually down to in the 170s now which i haven't been down into the 170s probably for i don't know maybe like three three years ago um so i had a good drop there so 179 oh my gosh it's too early to think 179.2 okay so that was a good loss and then, oops, I didn't mean to bump the camera there. And then, um, so I do $5 per pound. And then I got this cute tracker from Lady Dice Saves. So we're going to add the $20 in. And um, if I was at 183.8 minus 179.2, that is a 4.6, but I, I'm only going to do the four. I don't have a way to track like a half, but I will write the number down. So I actually get to um, put on four stickers today for a four pound weight loss, which I feel like is a lot um, of weight to lose in a week. So I am super excited about that, but then it kind of makes me curious to know what my weight loss is going to be um, the following week if I'll have another little kind of you know plateau or a little jump in my weight because it seems like that's kind of how it's been going but what we will see so I will write under here 179.2 all right I feel really good about that um, otherwise I really haven't been having any side of side effects from the zep pound like I said I feel like like the first day I take it then I kind of struggle with a little bit of some nauseous feeling so and it kind of happened in the middle of the night too so then it kind of kept me up which was kind of weird and i can't remember what time of day i ended up taking it because i have a feeling maybe if i just kind of alter the time of day i take it then it won't happen when i'm sleeping because i already struggle with getting enough sleep i don't need me not feeling well um, to keep me up also so we have 20 40 60 80 105 so, so far we have lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 pounds since 
uh, January 1st, which I didn't st start the zip bound January 1st, um, but that's when I um, decided to kind of, you know, do the self care binder. And my starting weight was 199, and now I'm at 179. So that is awesome. I am feeling really good about that. And I hope things stay on track and everything goes well. I think I'm going to try to stay on the same dose um, this next month and not up it. Um, and just kind of see how it goes. I feel like, like I said, I feel like it did not curb my appetite as much um, on the 7.5. But um, I'm going to give it another month. And, you know, I did have a weight loss. So I'm just going to kind of stick it with stick with it for one more month. And if I need to increase the dose the next month, month then I will. For my food, I had uh monday we had short ribs and mashed potatoes and then i had some toast and butter um the next day i had i made my salmon and egg um, breakfast muffin and it just i don't know certain things are starting to like not sound as good to me so i only was able to eat half of that and then so then i had some peanut butter toast um, because i really just could not eat that and then i had fruit yogurt i had a couple of jolly ranchers i had some of the little heath mini candy bars they're like about like this big they're not very big and then i just had a handful of chips uh, when which is it's a it's an improvement to me like i don't care that i have chips usually like when i was not on the zet mound if i would start eating chips I would eat a lot of chips. I wouldn't, I wouldn't just be able to have a handful and stop. It would be like my brain was just telling me, keep eating the chips. And now it's just like, I have no response to it. I'm just like, okay, just a couple chips and now I'm good. And then for golf league, they made us uh, chicken salad sandwiches on like a croissant. We had cheesy potatoes. Um, we had some kind of corn dip. And then the dessert was um, cookie with ice cream. And I just had a beer. And Wednesday we had, I had two pork sausages. I just cut them in half, put them in the air fryer and I didn't eat them with bread or anything. I just had the sausages. And then that night I had baked potato with cottage cheese on it. So I make a baked potato, put cottage cheese on it and I put seasoning like everything but the bagel seasoning, salt and pepper. And Thursday I had, what did I have? Oh, I had two eggs with cheese, um, fruit yogurt. I had some chips and then I made some of that stuffed salmon from Sam's Club and a couple Jolly Ranchers. Friday, I had baked potato because I made some extra baked potatoes that day so I could have some for leftovers. I had a leftover baked potato with cottage cheese, toast and butter, and then I had a hamburger and I didn't have a bun or anything with it, just hamburger with like pickles and stuff like that on it. Saturday we went out to eat with my dad for Father's Day and I shared a prime rib dinner with my husband so basically you get one big prime rib and then each of you get like your sides so you get your salad and soup and your choice of potato so I had not even half of the prime rib I probably had less than one fourth of the prime rib I had a baked potato with sour cream I had about half of my little side salad I had a roll with butter they always bring out like these uh, little veggie and cheese trays at the beginning and so I had a couple sticks there they like cut their cheese up in like sticks I had a couple sticks of cheese um, I ended up having a half a beer at the casino and then I had a couple Jolly Ranchers when I got home and then Sunday I didn't write everything down I had leftover stuffed salmon I had a couple Jolly Ranchers and then I had a baked potato with um, cottage cheese. Okay, and that is it. That is all for my self-care Monday. And I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.